What's up, guys? Just sharing some news that's come through the grapevine. Um, basically, if you didn't already know, there's two major issues with Windows 11 and Ryzen performance. One is L3 cache, which is the major issue. Uh, basically, the L3 cache is meant to have around 10 nanoseconds of latency. And for some reason in Windows 11, it's testing at around 30 nanoseconds. And that, that's pretty much old news now because it was present all the way back in early beta builds. And somehow it made it to release preview. Um, and for me, that's just ridiculous. It's like, it's almost like Microsoft must have done it on purpose because how many people do own Ryzen CPUs? And the other is CPPC, which is a BIOS setting, but also to do with the way the OS communicates with the CPU and preferred cores when boosting. So that can give some minor performance reduction uh, for single threaded workloads. But as you may know, most workloads are multi-threaded these days. So the major issue is really the L3 cache because that affects everything. And they've stated that they'll fix it by this month, October 2021. So if you didn't already know about this issue, I've, I, that should get you up to speed. But what I wanted to share is they actually released a fix today uh, on the beta and release preview channels. So this fixes the L3 cache latency issue. As you can see here, I'll link this down in the comments below. So this is via Microsoft. The CPPC fix is meant to be coming from AMD. So you can see the dates that they've officially announced. 19th and 21st for these updates. I don't know why they couldn't push them through. I guess they're trying to do some quick testing first because as you can see here, release preview and beta. Um, and the other thing I wanted to share is they've also fixed the File Explorer drag lag issue, which is a major bug that somehow made it to release as well. And yeah, fixed an issue moving certain app windows. So it might not fix all apps, but for the most part, it fixes the major apps that you might want to drag around when you're multitasking at the top. But the main issue was when you have this maximized and you say get your browser in front and you try to drag it in front of the file explorer window, like you're dragging it to the right to do some multitasking, you'll get that horrible lag. And that is fixed now, as far as I can tell. Well, but anyway, um, I just wanted to share that the fix is available now. So if you wanted the cache fix, you can get it early. And if you're wondering what kind of results you should be getting, it around 11 NS. So 11.7, 12, it depends on your background apps because it is sensitive to background processes. And as well, your um, read, write, and copy also seems to be affected by not just background processes, but the CPPC issue. Be um, and maybe to do with the power plans, they might have to fix it as well. Because what I noticed is the L1 and L2 are really accurate and they're waking up the cores really fast. But when I was watching Ryzen Master and trying to get accurate read, write, and copy results, I was getting down at 200 or sub 200 uh, gigabytes a second in my own testing, especially at idle. But when I'm recording, my results are actually decent, like the, the, um, the read, write, and copy speeds. But the prefix speeds were actually at megabytes per second. So, so we do know there is some kind of OS level uh, fixing that they might still have to do, uh, tweaking. But for the most part, uh, you can see here I've run, this is running the test while recording though, but I'll, I'll, you don't have to actually run the whole benchmark. You can just double click on a icon and you can see there that the scores are all over the place. But if you're, if you're under a light load like me, like I'm under a kind of a GPU load, it's letting me more consistent results uh, when I click it a few times. So I can get the score to at least go up. And that's all you really care about. Don't worry about it going down because that just means uh, another app was getting priority because when I tried to look up the um, the process affinity, not affinity, uh, priority for IDA64 Bench, uh, which is the DLL that runs when you, when you run these tests, apparently it default, it's actually a low priority test. So it does not prioritize over your background apps. So just to be aware of that, and yeah, because I was recording, you can see here 16 NS, but my off-camera score was like this, so 11.7. Uh, just so you can see, 11.7 NS. And this is running pretty crappy RAM. That's not really relevant, but you can see here I was able to get pretty high read, write, and copy as well, but that was running multiple... Um, running multiple attempts just to get the scores up so you, so I could make sure that it was actually reaching high numbers. But again, background apps and poor parking was also affecting it a little bit. And I disabled CPPC because that's not fixed yet. You can actually go into your BIOS and disable it completely uh, while you're waiting for the fix. And that might also improve performance a little bit, especially if you're on all core and uh, any type of all core overclock, then you don't really need CPPC anyway. 
Um, so yeah, just sharing that and hope it helps some of you out or at least gave you the heads up if you didn't uh, read the articles because um, it, it's getting posted everywhere on the internet now. But um, yeah, just how to access it at the very least. So have a good one, guys, and see you in the next one. Bye.